Hey everybody, welcome to the new video. This is Max from Savo 133. Before starting the video, let me thank the Huawei App Gallery for being a sponsor of this video. There's something very important that I want to share with you guys. For those who spend a lot of money in the game, or for those who just spend a little bit of amount here and there for stamina packs and things. Huawei App Gallery is available for the Android users and the emulator users, which means if you are using or playing Evany on your PC using any of these uh, mobile emulators like BlueStacks, MEMU, Nox, you can use it. Also make sure that you guys have a look at the VIP section as being the VIP member uh, gets you lots and lots of amazing rewards, mind blowing deals. So do not miss out this. Next thing also I would like to cover is make sure that you join the Discord group as they do a lot of giveaways. Uh, one, one or two months ago we had the live streaming for All Stars wherein people watching the All Stars that participated, one of them from my alliance actually got a 50 euros coupon and she redeemed it for a lot of stamina packs for herself and for the alliance and the most important and the wow factor is the 10 percent point back i wanted to actually cover this first but this is something which i want to emphasize more is because whenever you spend something you are getting nothing in return but the items in the game right and uh, with Huawei App Gallery, you get the 10% point back. So once you're done spending whatever you wanted to spend, now you have some bonus available in your account for which you don't need to use your card and you can just simply buy whenever you like, right? So that's an amazing use of the uh, Huawei App Gallery points. All right. So make sure that you get all these things. And most important, your region should be Italy or Netherlands because these offers, deals and campaigns are associated to the region. Now coming to Evany, something I would also like to highlight about having app galleries, you can use two accounts at the same time without the need to, uh, you know, log in and log out. So not just saying from the alt perspective, but let's say you have got an alliance member who's not really playing the time which you are playing. So you can use his or her account and join rallies and save each other a lot of time. Now I'm going to be talking about also using an application which is an auto clicker for training troops. As for the new meta of T1 traps, wherein, you know, no matter whatever level or your keep is, whatever attack you have, a K33 with 50 million T1s can easily defend your attack. It is really disappointing and irritating, right? So we're going to study a bit about it. Uh, actually, not study a bit about it, but how to train so many troops quickly. Now, let's just say if I want to train T1 troops right here, I go to my stable. I go to the T1 section and then um, I manually start training, training speed up, finish all and it just goes on and on and on. I need to actually sit and do this manually till I manage to train the troops, right? But no, I'm going to be showing you guys an application which is the auto clicker. It just makes your life super easy for training troops. So before going there, let's first have a look if my keep is ready to train troops. I have the main subordinate city as China, rest of them are Europe. I just completed my construction, so I'm very happy about it. Uh, moving on here. In the civilization treasure, I have got the branch, seven branch sword, which increases the training speed. Then I have got uh, the general on the keep, which also increases my training capacity. That is also good help. And then back on the building itself, I have got a general on the duty, which is special. It's not super, it is special. To make it super, I have to even make it level 40, which is kind of time consuming. But whatever I have, I am still happy with it. It, it gives me a 20% training speed and 500 uh, units and another 20% training capacity bonus. So I'll be missing a lot on that. But that does not mean I'm not going to train troops. Also looking at the resource consumption point, I have to burn 2 billion food to achieve that. So I'm going to just simply open up around 2 billion food. Now, once I select the number, I'm going to select a little less than that. Let me show you why. Because there is a talent which is called resource critical and it gives you more resources. You guys ready to train troops, right? But then, so many troop training is going to take a lot of time. So I'm going to ease your difficulty by selecting the auto clicker. So now when you do the enable, I'm going to show you step by step how to use the auto clicker. You can just download it on from the uh, play store or you can use the macros on your 
emulators so you go to the enable new configuration now you see these left side the plus sign adds a small circle to your screen now this circle you have to take on the train remember it has a two seconds delay which is set by default so the first hit is going to be on the train you take the next one which says which is going to hit on the training speed up again with a two second delay then take the third button and set on finish all and it's going to finish all now i'm going to set this as five seconds so the total time taken for training a batch of 34,873 troops is basically seven seconds of clicks my speed ups are getting burned any which ways so i'm not worried about losing them i'm just going to start by simply pressing the play button now you can also configure how many times you want this to run so i'm going to just keep it to 10 times for the video and then i just have to hit the play button so it's going to do the clicking automatically without me doing anything and the reason i have set five seconds delay on the third number or the third click is basically once it completes the third click it is going to restart from the first click with a delay or a time difference of five seconds now i'm not even touching my phone i'm completely off my my hands are completely off the screen it is the auto clicker doing the job of clicking on the screen and training troops now here what you see my dear friends is just uh, training 10 batches with the auto clicker let's say you are busy you want to do something at your place uh, you can just improve the number of delay like maybe set it to like four seconds or five seconds just to be sure that the training happens safely and you don't get diverted here and there right so you can do that too by just simply increasing the delay or if you think you're going to be monitoring it while doing something else you can keep the delay a little less maybe one second one second and then three seconds doesn't matter now my target is to burn two billion food how do i burn it well i'm just going to keep training troops back to back till i end up burning the two billion food so i'm going to do this manually right now it's not that i don't want to do it with the auto clicker i'm absolutely fine using the auto clicker but then you know <laughs> uh, i don't want you guys to get bored by looking at it work right so as we speak it has already done a number of times and you know by the time it is doing the job i will show you guys about the auto clicker so you can edit it you can save it as a troop training over here now let me show you these uh, options run indefinitely means it's just gonna keep spamming the troop training n number of times amount of time is basically you set the time let's say you're gonna be busy for five minutes or you got a call for five minutes you set the time let it run for five minutes and then when you're back, it is already paused. So easy life, right? There's number of cycles, which basically just keeps doing it over and over again for a certain number of times. That's what we did. I don't know what is the anti-detection, but it's not something that we really need. Once you save it, you have the profile available right here for whatever you like. So I've got something for rally joining, wherein I can just simply click one button, it will join the rally. Uh, but again, it's not like a bot which you guys are aware about. I have two phones So if I'm switching from first phone to the second phone, I just tap and it does the joining rally. It is fun I've got the Alliance Science donation option where it keeps donating in the Alliance Science burns gems and does it good number of times It's, it's just amazing It's amazing And then I have got the wheel of fortune It does wheel of fortune for me without me needing to actually sit and do so a lot of things I have configured here. I'll be making more videos to show these. But before I conclude this part of the video, I would like to again thank Huawei App Gallery for giving us some amazing deals and discounts, especially the 10 points, 10% uh, point back. It's like whatever you spend comes back to you, right? So that's crazy. And um, do make sure that you stay tuned to my channel because there are some new events which will be appearing here on my screen not actually my screen uh, the revelation of Maya I will be playing this actual event on a screen recorder so you get to see my first hand experience and based on that maybe even you can give it a try so guys thank you all for tuning in and if you have any questions you know where to reach out to me I'll be making uh, sorry not making but I'll be sharing my discord channel link in the description 
you can simply just uh, ping me over there there are a lot of smart people along with me in that group we are, which are way much smarter experienced and heavy coiners who are there to support my channel so if you have any doubt any questions you can put it there some or the other expert will help you out uh, whoever has the right knowledge and just for sake of fun feel free to join us right there and now with this i conclude the video thank you for tuning in make sure that you subscribe to my channel i really appreciate all the support that you guys give and uh, we'll be back again shortly with another view uh, video this is max from server 133 signing out i'll see you next time